Hey guitar players of YouTube, what is going on? It's Nate Savage here and I love fingerstyle guitar. In particular, as of late, I really have been into Travis picking. And um, for years I had a really hard time getting into it and getting the coordination down. So I wanted to give you five steps to getting into Travis picking. Here's the first step, and you don't have to have a thumb pick. You can use your thumb or thumb pick. The only reason I use the thumb pick is because it makes it a little bit easier to mute the low strings while picking them. But number one, step number one is this right here. You're gonna laugh at me. That's it. Right there, you have to be able to hit single bass notes on the low strings with your thumb accurately over and over. So that is step one. If you can't do that, none of the rest of this matters. So step one, and this may take you a month, it may take you a year to get down very well, these whole, all these five steps. But the important thing is that you really put that concerted effort in with this first. And the way I like to do this, or the like, way I like to work on it, is to just go through my open chords and try to hit the bass note, so the low root note of each chord. So put an A minor on and then just try to hit the A string. You can put a C on, try to hit that A string again. You can do E minor, switch to the low E string, an F would also be the low E string. G would be the low E string too. And then like if you move to a D chord, D minor chord, then you'd have to switch to the fourth string, the D string. But just doing that, cycling through your open chords, and first of all, looking back here and making sure that you're very accurate with your thumb. And I'm muting the low bass strings too with my palm here. That's another really important part of this first step. So just get a nice muted, an accurate technique with your thumb so you can hit the exact note you mean to hit with your thumb without even thinking about it. Step number two is this right here. And that's it, just alternating between any two adjacent bass strings. In this case, um, I have a C chord on and I'm just alternating between the A and the D strings. And this will change from chord to chord when you put it on. That's another good exercise to do, but the first part of this is just live here. Don't even worry about anything else. Just make sure you can accurately go from A to D, in this case, A, D, A, D. Once you're feeling comfortable with that over some time, and it does take time to develop this. It's not that hard, but it takes a lot of investment of time. Like for D, you would do maybe the D and the A string. For the F, you would do the low E and A strings. Same thing for the G. Just any two adjacent strings and change whatever chord you're playing on and make the first note you hit your uh, bass note or your root note of your chord. So for C, that's what you wanna hit for or go for. Just any two adjacent strings. You have to really work on that to get that accurate. Step number three, it just involves your thumb again because again, if you can't get the thumb down, then the melody that's gonna be on top doesn't really matter. And um, we're working towards something, I guarantee you, once we get to step five, you'll see exactly how all this fits together. I have kind of an etude for you that I came up with of what I was playing at the beginning of this video. But the next step would be something like this. So you have to alternate between three strings. So if you're on a C chord, you have to go your A, your root note there, C note on the A string, then the D, and then the low E. But instead of playing it open, you have to come hit this third finger, move your third finger over to the G, the fifth of the chord. So you have to go and then back to the D string. So you'd have A, D, E, D. You have to learn how to do that. That is like the core, what drives the railroad down the track with Travis picking. Just over and over again. So A, D, E, D. And you will take, it will take a long time to get this coordination built up to where you don't have to think about it. But again, go through the same thing. Just start with one chord, look back at your thumb. And then you can switch open chords. Like if you put an E minor chord on, you would want to go low E, D, A, D. F would be the same strings, E, D, A, D, E, D, A, D. G would be the same. E, D, A, D. Until you get the accuracy of it where you don't have to think about it. Step number four, after you've put in the months or years it takes to get your thumb down like that, and I'm still working on it, uh, is to put a melody note on top on the beat, on the one of each measure. So if this is your measure, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then you have to be able to put a melody note on the one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, 
And this may seem like a lot right now, but if you do this in order and put the time on with all the steps, it will be easier, much, much, much easier, trust me, believe me from experience, than if you just try to jump into it cold, like all right now with fingers and thumbs. But change chords, like we've been talking about, maybe put an A minor on, pick any note for the melody note on top, and then just get your alternating bass going. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Like if you put an E minor, any note on top is fine, but Get your bass notes going with that too. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. An F would look like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then a G would look like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And it can be with your index or middle finger, doesn't matter which one. Just as long as you get a note on top on the one. Step number five, and I should say that there are six steps to learning Travis picking, but we're only going over five here in this lesson. Uh, the sixth step we'll get to later, but that's learning songs. Step number five to help build your coordination is to have that exact same thing we did in the, in the last step with a melody note on the one, but on the and of two, you're gonna throw in another melody note to get some syncopation in there to build this coordination and dexterity. So you're gonna have one, two, and three. Something like that. Same thing if you had an A minor on there, you'd have the notes on the bottom and any melody note on top. And put an E minor on, same thing. One, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four. And you can do that with all of your chords just to build the coordination, reinforce your thumb, and really, really slow this down when you're first starting out because it is going to be a little bit weird at first. So maybe. One, two, and three, four. And a little variation on this is you can use more than one finger on top for the rhythm. So instead of using like all my middle finger like I was doing, you can do something like this on two different strings for your melody. that. And that's the pattern for like the little etude for this lesson. This is kind of the ultimate goal or the fifth step for this is just take an A minor and you're going to use your B and your G strings for the melody notes with that rhythm. And then move to an E minor. Keep your index finger on the G and B strings again and do the same thing but move your bass notes to where they're on the low three strings and then go to an F chord. Keep those same melody notes on the G and B strings. And then go to a C chord and adjust the notes to the thumb. Same strings on top, G and B for the melody. And that's really the entire A tune. If you work up through all five steps on this, you'll be able to do it. It will take some time, but you'll be able to do something like this. And that's really like the first beginner version of what I was playing at the beginning of this video, maybe a little bit faster. And once you've got that down, all you really have to do is start digging into more songs and learning them. If you go through this process, it'll make learning songs that use Travis picking a lot easier. And that's what I'm gonna do in the follow-up video for this video. In the comments below, you know, let me know what are your favorite songs that use Travis Picking. And I'll see you in the next video.